All right, so um, welcome back to the series. So um, let's continue. So now this is um, returning the height that has been incremented, right? So it's, it's returning a string. Remember, Redis has, um, for this data type is a string, so it returns, it returns a string actually. So Redis is always saving the strings and returning a string. Right, so now that we have that, next is, um, since we are trying to follow follow this, next is our product, right? Our product is going to be saved like an object in hash map, so let's go ahead to do that. All right, so in my recent video, in my um, former video, while I was um, defining the um, DB schema, again, I'm trying to correct this, I don't know I've mentioned before, I mentioned products as um, or that set, it's um sorted set, just used to the other set. So uh, let's get back to building. So we are going to add products now. So uh, again, self new products. So uh, save ID. Right, because we need it. Okay. Request get product underscore name. Yeah, that's what we have here. And then first name image and then tags. Okay. Oh. Okay, great. So let's define this method. function data. So remember, we said the um, product hash map, and um, so edge multiple sets. Let's see if this method is correct. Yeah, each multiple sets. Yeah, this is it then. Which, which multiple sets? So we have radius. Which multiple sets? The key? So here, the key here will be products data. ID. And then the value is in data. Right, so this is what we are returning. Bo returns Bo shuffles. It does it was, it was added or not. So this was incremented. Let's see what let's just see what the return of this. What does return increment? Okay, this is it. So if it's decree, what does it return? It returns in so. I'm gonna be wrong here. Okay, cool. So, um, next thing for products, we said that one product we hold that sets will hold all products ID with time seven per score. So, three straightforward. So, we see. I'm going to do that right here. So, do we need to define a method for this? We won't be using this in multiple places where I just go ahead to do this. So, sort of set z 
not photos so let's see how this works there had key and then required key and then score and value so key is product score is time and value is data ID so that's been started now so if our product has been added then we can do more things so what's next we've done product id create a product product map create products and then we have tags tags sets to hold all unique tags so now let's do self add tags Quest get tags right. Let's define this function. Public function tags marry. So you get them. So let's see. So um, let's see. It is set. So already says add. So let's see, I think there is something that is called s add array. Let's see if that's going just for us. s add key value. Yes, there is s add array. So that's good for us. s add array key tags, right? And then tags. Let's keep in unique tags, right? So what's next? After adding tags into our product ID and tags, right? So add product tags. So, uh, tags in the product ID. And then there's the tags. Right. Uh, product tags. Let's do that. Right. Again, this is set, so this will be good. Instead, we need to add it as products the ID. Product ID and tags. And then lastly, there is a um, tags ID to add the list of all the tags. So, right. So, um, all the products with particular tags. So, right. So, add this is add tags. Add Product tags uh -huh. add product to tags to tag. Yeah, add product to tags. Yes, so product ID tags again. That's all we need. Product add product to tags. Products. Right, so um, it's going to be what? It's going to be a list. So, all right, um, I would like to pause this video here so we can continue. I don't want to reach my, my, my max limit again. We'll continue in the next video.